Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a color palette using a photo on Photoshop. So you can use any photo that you want. You just need to find a photo with some interesting colors. So I saw this photo here on pixels.com and it's got some red, some uh, black, some greens and some light blues as well. So this is kind of similar to my uh, brand colors of EQ systems. So I'm going to create a color palette from this photo. So I've made a similar video on this before where I created a color palette using a color palette generator and also using this website called color.adobe.com. So this is a bit more automatic. So it's, it makes it a little bit more easier to create color palettes, but there are some limitations. So I uploaded the photo and you can see the most dominant colors in this photo are the red colors. That's the one that stands out first, but the color palette generator didn't give me any good red colors. So in this case, you have to take it into Photoshop and create your own color palette manually. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do in today's video. So I've got the photo uploaded to Photoshop and it's ready to go. So first thing is you need to create a new color swatch. So if you don't see this color swatch panel right here, go to windows and click on swatches right here. You also need the layers panel. So go again to windows and make sure layers is ticked on. So first let's go to the swatches right here. And these are some of the uh, colors that I created before. So we're going to delete all of this. So click on this little menu icon and click on preset manager. And you might see some other colors here as well. The colors that, uh, Photoshop automatically adds, but we're going to delete all of that and start, start from scratch. So pick the first color um, and press and hold shift as well. So press and hold shift and pick the first color and press the last color. So it selects all of the colors here and then click on delete and then click on done. So all the colors are deleted and we're going to start picking the colors. So usually what people do is they click on the eyedropper tool right here and they click on random parts of the photo. So maybe this area here and they pick a color, but there's an even, uh, even easier way with um, a tool called crystallize. So I'm going to create a new layer or, or a new copy of this photo. So click and drag the photo into the new layer icon and we have a new copy and go to filter and click on pixelate and click on crystallize. So what that does is it just creates this little pattern. And this makes it a lot easier to create the color palette. So click on OK. So now we have this crystallized image. So now uh, I'm going to click on the eyedropper tool and we're going to work with this area first. So maybe let's uh, uh, pick a few colors from here. So let's zoom in and I'm going to choose the eyedropper tool and let's pick a dark red color right here. So we have that uh, color selected now. So now you go to the color swatch, color swatch tool and color swatches, sorry, and click on the new icon right here. And it will automatically pick up the color that you just picked with the eyedropper tool. And you can name the color that you want, but I usually don't name the colors. I just leave it as it is. And if you want to add it to your library, you can click this on as well. So click on OK. So now there's the first color. So now let's pick a different color, maybe a slightly lighter red this time, maybe something like this. And click on the new icon again. And that's the second color. So let's pick two more colors. Maybe let's pick this kind of an orange color here. And one more, maybe this kind of a purplish color. So now we have four colors there. So now what I'll do is open up uh, a new layer and I'm going to choose the selection tool and I'm just going to draw a box. So this is where I'm going to start adding in the color. So just a small box doesn't have to be uh, any particular size. And I'm going to choose uh, the eyedropper tool again and choose the first color that we picked, which is the dark color and choose the paint bucket tool and paint that in. So there's the first color now. So let's create an extra copy of this box and let's move it down. And I'm going to select this box again and let's choose the next color this time. This time I will pick the lighter red color that we had and let's paint that in. And let's create another extra copy of this box. So if you want, want to know how I'm creating all these extra copies of these boxes and how I'm um, snapping all of these boxes in line, uh, I'll leave a link to my other video on the basics of Photoshop. So let's make this box bigger. So I'm going to make this box a rectangle. Let's hit enter. 
And for this one, I'm going to choose the dark kind of purplish color that we had right here. And let's paint that in right here. So now we have this three colored color palette. So you can add in more colors in here if you want. But just to keep it simple, I'm just going to uh, pick three colors. So let's zoom out. And let's hide the uh, crystallized, crystallized uh, copy of the photo that we had. So now you can see from this area, we picked out these colors right here. So let's group all of these uh, boxes together. And I'm just going to call this palette. There we go. Or just, I'm just going to call it colors. Cool. So now we can kind of move that exactly where we found, found all those colors, just around there. So now let's move up to maybe around this area. So uh, let's do the same thing. So I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to do the same exact thing that we had before. It's, uh, just like before, but I'm going to choose the color uh, eyedropper tool and choose it most. It's mostly blue colors around this area. So let's start with maybe this light blue. Click on new. Click on OK. Let's click. Choose a purplish color there. Let's pick two more colors. I'll pick a light blue there, and I'll also pick a slightly green color as well. And you can add in a fifth color if you wanted to, just to see how it, it will work. But we've got five colors there, and we're just going to pick three of them. So now let's create an extra copy of the colors group, the boxes that we had. So let's move all of this up, and let's add in the new colors now. So let's start with the first box. Let's add in, uh, I think it was this light blue that we picked first. So let's, oops, let me pick the right layer, sorry. There we go. And for this one, let's pick uh, this purplish color, I think. Yep, I think that should work well. Yep, that looks good. That already looks pretty good, but let's just add the other uh, colors in anyway. So let's maybe pick, uh, I'll pick this green color. Let's see how this would work. So sometimes the colors wouldn't really work together, so you have to pick the right ones. Oops, I think I painted the wrong one. There we go. I actually think that looks pretty good. So let's zoom out. So those, those are a bunch of different colors. It's, it's a, uh, a light kind of green uh, also added in with a bit of uh, yellow uh, there's a light blue and a, a light purple so I think that looks pretty good there let's let's hide the crystallized image first let's see what that looks like so I think that looks okay but it could be better so I'm gonna try hide try a different color there uh, let's try the reddish the red color that we had so also pick the red color from this area so Let's pick this one here. Yeah, I think that actually looks much better there. So I'm going to keep the, the red color on all the uh, colors that we pick, all the different boxes, and because that's actually a quite a dominant part of this image. And it's also part of my brand as well, so I'm going to keep that red color. So what I'm going to do is speed up the video, and I'm going to pick random parts from this image and just create a bunch of different color palettes. And let's see what it looks like now. So I just created six different color palettes from the photo using that same technique over and over again. And you can use any part of the image that you want, any different type of image with different colors, and try this out and see how this goes for you. So this is how I create my color palettes using photos.
if the color palette generators doesn't give me the right colors. So I'll leave a link to that other video on color palettes in the description below, uh, which is an automatic way of creating color palettes. This is a manual way. So uh, some people prefer this, some people prefer the other way, and you can pick which one works best for you. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or any other videos you want me to make, uh, leave a comment in the uh, comment section below. And also, if you, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. And also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a video. And I'll see you in that next video.